Hey everyone, JagTagger93 here, back in another Quake map uh, playthrough with the 333 challenge. Now, of course, I'm on webcam right now. My hair is a mess because I've been in quarantine and I uh, haven't been able to get a haircut, but the reason why I'm on webcam right now is because I'm testing the sound settings with Stream OBS. I do stream on the weekdays, so I figured I'll test it because I'm using Stream OBS this week and uh, I've been using Twitch OBS before. So using a new software means I got to reconfigure the sound settings. So I want to hear how it sounds. So I'm testing it, and I figure, hey, if it works, if it sounds good, I'll use it as a weekend uh, 333 random quake map challenge. And the uh, map we're doing today is Altar of Pain. It's a 90s map. It comes to us from 1996. And I'm excited to try this one out, and uh, hopefully it sounds okay. So I'll be uh, playing this back after I'm done playing through it, and if it sounds good, I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel, and uh, hopefully you guys see it. Um, by the way, there's no kill count or save count on my HUD right now. Usually I add that in post when I do a um, when I do a YouTube video, but uh, since the purpose of this is to do a stream test, I'm doing it kind of live. But I'm still going to keep track of uh, my lives and saves, so those who know and uh, have seen me before know the 333 challenge means I get three lives and three saves. If I beat the map within those three lives and three saves, cool, great. If I die, meaning if I die three times, the map video ends and I wrap up my thoughts, but uh, we'll get into this one and uh, see what it's like. Altar of Pain. I like that classic name, by the way, and oh shoot. Probably should have went for the double barrel shotgun immediately. Prelude, okay, I think that says something about a prelude. No secrets. Oop! I gotta keep more alert here. I don't know what to expect. Boom! But no secrets, okay. Only 60 enemies, I fear I'll save around like 20 enemies or so. So that's interesting. When we came up through here, if they are facing this way, would have been an ambush point, but uh, they're facing the wall, and why they're facing the wall, I have no idea. What the author could have done, too, was have these guys facing the wall so the player thinks, oh, easy, get up close to the double shotgun and kill them, but have an enemy here in an alcove um, uh, to ambush the player from their blind side. Um, so very bizarre having the enemies just staring at a wall like this and just be easy pickings. Silver key, okay. That's a bizarre, bizarre wall. Like, why would you have it as a wall? Just have it as a door. It's so weird. I think there was one more uh, Shrek in there. I call Ogre Shrek sometimes. I think there's one more Ogre, yep. Got him. Silver key, misaligned textures, gotta love it. Let's grab that key. No ambush, alright, fine. But hey, they're using the classic purple skybox, which I'm always a sucker for. Enter part one, the relay. Okay, interesting. Enforcers and knights up ahead, I see. I had forever and a day to dodge those incoming enforcer shots, but I just stood here like an idiot. Kind of... Yep, I had a feeling. I was saying I was kind of scared to go too far out here because I had a feeling something might be on the other side. You never know, but... Ooh, and I see a wizard. Scrag right there. And another knight sword right there, too. So, yeah. This is meant to be an ambush point. Got it. Two scrags. Got it. I figured one of the scrags would tag the knight. Yep. Fiend? Fiends and zombies. Got it. So those fiends are going to be busy for a while. Fighting the zombies. Which they can't kill.
Gold key. Okay, got it. There's the gold key. Was there another fiend? Not sure. He might have fallen in the water. Come on, get your ass out of the water. Alright. Got these zombies here. We're not going to be able to do anything with them, though. Oh, armor! I'm happy I went and took a dip. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm going to save now, actually, because we're really low on life. Fuck. Alright, I had to stun him to get by. Alright, I had nowhere else to go, but uh, thankfully that paid off. We um, have what looks like a grenade launcher open to us now, which is nice. So we can take out these annoying-ass zombies. Let me get our gold key. Oh, let's get that health too, by the way. Let's grab that. Definitely need that. And we're gonna backtrack just a little bit and make sure we didn't skip any uh, essential health. Got our asses kicked. Yep, awesome. Alright, feeling a bit better about our chances. We got armor, which is lovely. Weird that that rises up again, but doesn't seem to go all the way. Even if it did, I would get bonked by the bridge, so I'm not sure why it rises back up if you step on it. But, whatever. 69 health, hey! Alright. The Elder Cave. Alright, that's just really stupid enemy placement. Of course, yep, they're gonna, ta they're gonna tag each other. Really dumb. I'm not sure if there's been many players that have played this throughout the years and who have not done exactly what I just did right there. Wait for the uh, Death Knight to do his um, spread dagger attack, whatever that is, and uh, tag the fiend. Fiend has a lot of health after being in battle with that Death Knight. Oh, we tagged something. Alright. Weird switch texture. Um, just odd. Alright, 40 enemies will do my next save, I guess. Actually, I'll do my second save now. Uh, I'm not sure what's waiting for us up there. So I got one save left. Haven't died yet. Came really close at one point, though. Oop, oh, see you night. Ooh, and I hear a vor. There it is, it's on the right. Anything on the left? No, not that I can see, except for a rune. Oh, hi. Shit. die. Alright, so a lot of the progression here. I think earlier we were able to get the uh, gold key because we killed the fiends. Here we were able to get this rune because we killed a vor. Um, rune progression, by the way, is something that is very classic. I saw it. You see it a lot. Oh, shit! Oh, uh, we're gonna get hit. Yeah. Can't help it. But uh, rune progression, using runes to progress is something you see a lot more in older quake maps. Not so much in newer ones. It is kind of necessary if we got keys, but uh, I, I like it. Come on. Ooh, I thought for sure that would kill them. Wow! 
Alright, nice. Alright. 40 enemies? Yeah, we'll do our second save after I kill this four. Damn! Four projectiles, am I right? Did I just find a secret? Oh no, I think we have to go that way. Quad damage up over here though. I'm gonna save that until I clear out this after I clear out this area here. Looks like a pentagram protection down there too. Interesting. Okay, let's grab the quad damage. And let's make it last. Come on, hurry up, we're on a timer. I heard a vor. Nice. Let's keep it going. Still got our quad damage. Nice. Alright, awesome. We'll do our third and last save now, because we only got three enemies left, so... Shouldn't be much more of the map left. What just happened? Oh! Oh no. Oh no. That's back the way we came, I think. Right? Yep. Just making sure there's nothing we missed, because uh, we got a tough fight ahead. We got three, um... Three, uh... Freaking shamblers. We got armor, so that's good. We got armor. Oh, sweet. Omega health. Nice. And quad damage. Okay, cool. So that makes this a lot more doable. We're out of saves, though, so let's, uh... Mm, not sure what I want to go for first. I'll probably go for the quad damage first. Yeah, let's try quad damage first. Yes, nice. Didn't even need the mega health. But I had a feeling, and... Is that the exit? Exit spelled backwards, of course. Alter is saved. Nice. There we go. So yeah, I didn't die at all. That's awesome. Um, interesting map, and I hope the sound sounds okay. If so, I'm going to upload this to my YouTube channel, and uh, yeah. Again, there was no kill count or save count, because I'm kind of doing this live-ish. This is just meant to be a sound test um, of what it would be like when I'm streaming. And uh, yeah, I stream on the weekdays, uh, 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do Quake on Mondays. Tuesdays is um, Resident Evil games. Uh... I think I'm playing through classic uh, or RE1 remake now. Wednesdays is Doom. Still making my way through the Happy Megawad. Good times. Thursday is um, whatever I'm in the mood to play. That's kind of an open day. And Friday are fighting games. Uh, fighting day Fridays, you know. So uh, I think I've been doing a lot of Street Fighter V lately um, on Fridays. But uh, yeah. All right. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching. This is JagTiger93 signing out. Check out my Twitch as well, too. But I appreciate you all for watching. Take care.